Hello students, so we will continue uh, our uh, definitions uh, related to Hopf bifurcation and uh, we will state the theorems related to Hopf bifurcation theory. Right. So, up until uh, the previous class uh, we defined uh, the orbits and um, uh, phase space, uh, then uh, we also state a few uh, stated few theorems that are basically coming from uh, uh, dynamical systems. Right. So, all these topics um, are related to um, uh, dynamical th uh, dynamical systems or a chaos theory or in some cases nonlinear dynamical system. So, here we are trying to gather um, um, or collect uh, some of the important definitions so that we can get to the Hopf bifurcation. So, I um, uh, request you to definitely look into uh, the textbooks that I have recommended for a broader prospect of it right and uh, there you can just uh, read these definitions and try to connect uh, where we are trying to get at right. So, uh, continuing the spirit of uh, bifurcation theory, let me just define uh, another definition. So, definition 1 for today. Uh, so, let D be an open subset of R2, subset of R2 uh, for each T belonging to R, uh, let phi T mapping from or uh, phi T mapping from D, um, sorry, uh, D to D uh, be a transformation, be a transformation satisfying following assumption, satisfying following assumptions. So, what are those assumptions? Assumptions. So, the first one is uh, phi 0 is equals to i, the identity operator operator on R 2 and uh, Second one is uh, phi t2 phi t1 is equals to phi of t2 plus t1 for any t1 t2 in R. Right. So our phi uh, it satisfies. Uh, we are defining phi t or phi as a transformation which you can think of phi t as a phi as a function of t comma x right and uh, here basically uh, we are saying that it has it is satisfying two properties so phi at uh, phi 0 is basically phi at 0 comma x right so initial condition basically and um, the that is the identity operator on r2 and uh, phi of t2 comma t2 times uh, phi of t1 is equals to phi of t2 plus t1 for any t1 and t2 so if it satisfies these properties then we call uh, uh, i will write in bracket so we call we call uh, the one parameter the one parameter family of uh, such uh, mappings phi which is equals to all such phi t such that t is in R a dynamical system a dynamical system or a flow or flow right all right um, so phi t is any transformation it satisfies these uh, assumptions so then it is called as a collection of all such phi's or family of all such phi's is called as uh, a dynamical system or um, uh, a flow right so now uh, we define uh, phi as this then phi is said to be a dynamical system or a flow on D. Achha, we have to write on D. On D. Furthermore, further 
more uh, if phi t x uh, is uh, continuously differentiable uh, in t and x is uh, differentiable is differentiable in t and x then phi is said to be a uh, continuous dynamical system. On D. Right. Now uh, that we have defined the dynamical system or a flow, let me define these two uh, limits omega and alpha limit. So, another definition, another definition goes like this let gamma is equals to all such phi's for phi t such that t is in R uh, be an orbit, be an orbit an orbit of a flow or a dynamical system phi. Then the sets, then the sets uh, gamma positive equals to all such phi t such that t is in 0 comma infinity and uh, gamma negative is equals to all such phi t such that t is in minus infinity comma 0 are called the positive uh, the positive and negative semi orbits of gamma respectively right respectively and uh, moreover moreover the sets what are the sets uh, omega gamma positive is equals to all such x stars belonging to d uh, there exist a sequence there exists a sequence t i tending to infinity uh, such that phi of t i is tending to x star right and uh, a of gamma negative is equals to all such x star in the subscript belonging to D, there exists a subsequence, there exists a subsequence T i tending to minus infinity such that phi of T i is tending to x subscript star, right, are called as, so the sets, these two sets are called as, are called as the omega limit set sorry limit set and alpha limit set alpha limit set of gamma and uh, the set l of gamma is equals to omega gamma positive union a gamma negative is called the limit set is called the limit set of gamma. Um, one example could be of this type. So, let gamma be an orbit on R2 be an orbit in R2. So, then um, uh, if gamma is 
an equilibrium or a closed orbit it is an orbit and it is also closed then clearly gamma positive and gamma negative will be same right because if it is a closed orbit so then basically what will happen is uh, whatever gamma positive that means uh, for all collection of all phi t such that uh, t is from 0 to infinity and gamma negative is collection of all such phi t's such that t is from minus infinity to plus uh, to 0 they will both be same and that is actually equal to our gamma right and uh, hence if uh, these two sets are same then our uh, this omega positive and a gamma negative they are also same and uh, this is also equals to l of gamma which is basically our gamma and uh, second criteria is uh, if gamma approaches to 0 approaches to 0 that means origin 0 0 as uh, t tends to infinity and uh, approaches to infinity approaches to infinity as t tends to minus of infinity then omega gamma positive is equals to or only 0 0 right and uh, a gamma negative will be an empty set and hence our limit set of omega uh, of gamma is the union of these two so that is only the point 0 0 right so omega limit is this and uh, alpha limit is uh, empty set so their union is basically the limit set of uh, gamma and uh, like that uh, we uh, can also uh, see that uh, how we can relate the orbit or the usual definition of uh, dynamical system or flow uh, with our omega limit and alpha limit right and uh, there is a small theorem or a result that i wanted to mention so let gamma is equals to all such phi t such that t is in r be an orbit of a flow phi then the omega limit set uh, omega positive and uh, alpha limit set a of gamma negative um, of gamma uh, sorry of gamma are both closed are both closed and invariant so it doesn't even change for phi right ok now we will move on to our uh, next uh, how to say uh, theorem or statement or definition whatever so this is the theorem that I stated in the very beginning of uh, bifurcation theory um, which was I am going to which is I am going to write again so this is Poincaré Poincaré uh, Van Dixon theorem. So, this theorem says that if the solution uh, phi t of x dot equals to f x an autonomous system uh, f x um, is bounded is bounded for all t greater or equal to 0 then either let us go to the next page either equation 1 omega uh, phi contains an equilibrium contains an equilibrium 
So, here this is actually our gamma contains an equilibrium and second one or uh, A phi t is periodic is periodic or B is uh, omega I sorry gamma phi is a periodic orbit either we write gamma phi or just gamma does not matter a periodic orbit right. So, this is our uh, uh, Poincare Benedictson theorem that actually comes from usual definition of our uh, uh, dynamical system right. And now we will mention Hoff bifurcation for planar system. Hoff okay. So let us consider. Let us consider a system of type uh, x1 dash equals to f1 of x1, x2, and mu. Let us call it as 1a and x2 dash equals to f2 of x1, x2 and mu let us call it as 1 b. Now, uh, we assume that we assume that uh, f is equals to f 1 f 2 uh, is mapping from some d to r 2 right uh, is analytic is analytic with D uh, an open subset open subset of R2 cross R and uh, let us say 0 0 0 belongs to D. So, then we suppose that we suppose that uh, f 1 of 0 0 mu is equals to 0 and uh, f 2 of 0 0 mu is equals to 0 that is 0 0 is an equilibrium point is an equilibrium equilibrium point um, for all mu in R. Right? So, we are saying that origin is the, or 0 0 is the um, uh, equilibrium point. Right? Now, A of mu A of mu is equals to del of f 1 f 2 del of x 1 x 2 at this 0 0 comma mu or you can say del f 1 by del x 1 I mean we can break the Jacobian del x 2 del f 2 by del x 1 and del f 2 by del x 2 evaluated at 0 0 0 as 0 0 and mu. Uh, we can name this as equation number 2 no? 1 a 1 b and 2. Right. So, then um, uh, this and uh, alpha of uh, mu plus minus i beta of mu be the eigenvalues be the eigen values of a uh, mu. Here I would like to add a small definition if uh, alpha is less than uh, 0 then um, then it is called then 0 0 uh, then 0 0 is called uh, a spiral uh, 
spiral stable point right now this is just for reference okay if alpha is less than 0 okay um, for mu is equals to so for mu equals to 0 uh, to be a half bifurcation to be a half bifurcation value of the system 1 a 1 b of this system 1 a 1 b we must have we must have alpha 0 equals to 0 and beta 0 is equals to some beta which should not be equals to 0 right. So, otherwise uh, if alpha is 0 and beta is 0 then in that case uh, it will not be a bifurcation value or bifurcation point. So, obviously the real part must vanish and the imaginary part must be non-zero. So, alpha must be 0 and uh, alpha at mu equals to 0 must be 0 and beta at mu equals to 0 it must be some real number um, which is non-zero. So, let us call it as relation number um, 3. Okay. So, we first uh, use the um, this property and uh, state the following theorem. So, theorem 1 which is probably the important theorem for half bifurcation. So, suppose that the equilibrium that the equilibrium 0 0 is a stable uh, sorry stable spiral point or spiral stable point or uh, some people also write it stable spiral point either one of them. So, stable spiral point for a system 1 a 1 b with uh, mu equals to 0 and uh, 0 0 is an unstable spiral point spiral point for a system 1 a 1 b with mu not equals to 0 with mu not equals to 0 um, with mu not equals to 0 with uh, mu equals to 0 and mu not equals to 0 for um, for uh, mu positive and uh, or mu negative then uh, for system this uh, for with mu not equals to 0 for mu positive or mu negative um, uh, that is so do not write for that is otherwise this is not ending well. Huh? So, that is uh, mu is positive or mu is negative then for mu positive similarly mu negative uh, sufficiently close to 0 sufficiently close to 0 close to 0 uh, close to 0 uh, system 1.1 a uh, sorry 1 a and 1 b um, has an orbitally orbitally asymptotic asymptotically stable limit stable limit cycle in a in a neighborhood of 0 0 and uh, this is part a then part b will be suppose that the equilibrium
0 0 is an unstable point is an unstable point uh, unstable spiral point sorry unstable spiral point um, for system 1a 1b uh, with mu equals to 0 and uh, 0 0 is a stable spiral point spiral point for the system 1a 1b with mu not equals to 0 that is mu is either positive or mu is negative. So, then for mu uh, greater than 0 or mu less than 0 uh, sufficiently close sufficiently close to 0 system 1 point A to 1 point B has an arbitrarily uh, arbitrarily I think 1 t should be there arbitrarily unstable limit cycle unstable limit cycle in a neighborhood of 0 0 right. So, this is the statement of uh, the uh, major theorem in a Hoff bifurcation theory. Um, so, the proof is uh, quite lengthy. So, we will uh, skip the proof and uh, we will just uh, make our peace with the statement of the theorem. And uh, yeah, like that uh, we um, have actually concluded the Hoff bifurcation uh, theorem. There is one more uh, uh, statement or one more uh, corollary or the, how to say. Uh, lemma uh, which uh, we can mention here. So, uh, basically, so So, basically we have uh, now stated the one of the major theorems for uh, Hopf bifurcation theory and uh, like that we can um, uh, I mean mention some more results or corollary. Um, so, I was uh, just looking for one more important uh, theorem uh, from my notes. Um, so, basically um, yeah. So, looking at the eigenvalues what we can say about the uh, uh, about the stability. Uh, what we can say about the uh, asymptotic uh, stability. So, basically this is a corollary you can say. So, the statement of the corollary goes like this. Um, so, let, let us consider um, the terminologies from previous theorem, the terminology from theorem 1 with an additional assumption uh, alpha dash 0 is positive or alpha dash 0 is negative. Then these two things happen. So, suppose that the equilibrium equilibrium 0 0 is stable right is stable spiral point stable spiral point uh, for system 1a 1b for system 1a 1b um, with mu equals to 0 then for mu positive similarly mu negative um, sufficiently close sufficiently close to 0 or origin to 0 system 1 point uh, sorry system 1 a and 1 b um, has an 
orbitally 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 T A double T A double L Y orbitally asymptotically stable orbitally asymptotically stable limit cycle limit cycle in a neighborhood of 0 0. Similarly, we can uh, state for uh, part B the way we have stated that theorem. Uh, I just want to check orbitally. Yeah, so T A double L Y. So, similarly, we can state uh, the part B that suppose that the equilibrium 0 0 is an unstable uh, spiral point for the system 1 A 1 B with mu is equals to 0. So, then for mu positive or mu negative sufficiently close to 0 system 1 A 1 B has an orbitally uh, unstable limit cycle in the neighborhood of 0 0 the way we had here right unstable limit cycle in the neighborhood of 0 0. And uh, so, basically what we have is uh, if you have alpha dash not equals to 0. So, then you can um, simply look at uh, the equilibrium point 0 0 and uh, uh, if uh, mu is positive uh, then in that case uh, it you will have uh, orbitally asymptotically stable limit cycle. And if mu is uh, less than 0, then we have uh, orbitally um, asymptotically, um, uh, how to say this, uh, uh, if, if uh, alpha dash is uh, le less than 0 at uh, 0, then we have uh, for mu um, uh, 0, 0 will be an unstable spiral point and for mu positive or uh, for mu negative or mu positive will have um, orbitally unstable limit cycle. So, here it should be mu negative and uh, mu positive. So, I just have to correct this. Uh, so, here it will be mu positive, mu negative and uh, let me just have a look. Yes, fine. So, this is um, it. Um, so, basically we have uh, the stated the Hopf bifurcation theorem and one corollary that can be derived from Hopf bifurcation. Um, Similarly, uh, we can uh, look into some examples. Uh, so, there will be some examples in your uh, assignment sheet where you can uh, uh, solve some problems and see uh, what is their orbit, whether it is uh, stable or not or orbitally uh, asymptotically stable or not and things like that. So, we will uh, uh, stop here this particular chapter and uh, next we will move on to our uh, um, uh, next chapter basically. So, that we will start in the next class. So, I thank you for your attention and I will see you in the next class.